So, so Reverend Bobby, how how do we approach this? Uh, how are we going to survive or thrive during this recession depression? Well, according to Reverend Bobbyism, we're going to make it through. <clears throat> I think what people want to know most is how are we going to thrive? How are we going to provide for ourselves? How are we going to make money in this recession? They, they, they buy into that which is going on. On, in the media and what we're being told but I could tell you right now that there's no less spiritual substance there's no less God than there's always been um, you know there's no less money it may seem as if it's tightened up and unavailable but that's only because of the people that control the money it's it's no less money it's no less provision it's no less substance here uh, one thing that I would like to remind the people is that during the Great Depression, uh, more millionaires were made than at any other time in the history of the United States. <clears throat> Once again, during the Great Depression, more millionaires were made than at any other time in the United States of America. One other thing I would like to tell people is what a perfect opportunity you have to, to, to be successful, to be prosperous, to, to fill the coffers of your pocket with money because now the playing field has been leveled. Those who seem to have an inside track on the making of money, large amounts of money, well, <laughs> they're no longer in business as, as, as it were. Um, it's not dependent on color, it's not dependent on what school you went to, what degrees you might have, you know, all that's wiped off the board. The playing field is really level for those who are creative in mind and come up with unique things to offer to the people. One of the things I really like to tell people is your inherent skills and talents that you place no value on because it's you and you say, oh, how can this be of any value because I'm the one who does it well. Well, let me tell you this. Those skills and inherent talents that you possess are skills and inherent talents, excuse me, that others don't have. That are willing to pay you money for to help them, you know, do whatever it is that they want to do or accomplish uh, in life. So make yourselves available to some creative outlets, some creative things, and you're going to do just fine. And in fact, you will find yourself excelling. Reverend Bobby, they are people who are literally killing themselves. I mean, not figuratively, killing themselves because their lifestyle has drastically changed. For those who believe in God, those who believe in spirituality, those who believe, in, who go to church, how are they going to, uh, should they be scared? Should they be worried about this recession depression? I mean, I don't think anybody should be worried or scared about a recession, depression. Just in the in the normal flow of things, things are cyclical. Uh, re, uh, recession, then a time of great prosperity, then a recession, depression, then a time of great prosperity, because it's always an adjustment going on. Uh, those that go to church believe in God, they, they, they'll probably be the less scared because they have something to stand on. Um, you see a whole lot of people these days coming in, um, you know, killing up their families, their spouses, their children. And we want to believe that this has something to do with the recession, uh, them losing their jobs, those kinds of things. But let me tell you, folks. These are the people that would come in and kill up their family and their children, whether it was a recession or not. They just been waiting. They just been waiting for an excuse to come in and do it. Don't be fooled by, you know, people saying, well, he lost his job yesterday and came in and killed up his family. And that was the motivator trying to connect to lose another job as the motivator to kill up the family. Listen. Here's a click away from doing it anyway, so don't buy into the hype. Um, for people that go to church and, you know, believe in God, you know, continue to do so. Uh, God didn't bring you here to not provide for you and keep you hanging. Thank God that you know that.
So this, uh, uh, this time we live in is a great opportunity to renew our minds. Oh, absolutely. If in fact we choose to renew our minds. Some people are so stuck in the way that they do things, you know, they'll hang on to it so very, very hard and say, well, I'll just do things the way I do them better or more intensely or with a higher degree of focus. And they go about doing doing that and uh, things stay the same or get progressively worse because of the mostly immature concepts we hold about this life, we hold about ourselves, we hold about each other, that we hold about God and spirituality. You know, it's always some, you know, um, you know we're right, they're wrong. I, I tell people all the time that all this peace movement stuff, people don't want peace, they want to be right. They want other people to give up their total way of life and live like them and then we'd be at peace. That's some ludicrous, ridiculous stuff. You know, people are just so immature in their concept of what life is about. Um, listen, you just got to be out here and, 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 and know for yourself the things that you should do, know for yourself how you should treat yourself, treat your family, treat each other. Know for yourself that we're going to make it through because, hey, we always do.